Dew and Grey is the latest gothic horror-inspired rock band to corrupt Japanese youth. <laughs> we are a rock band. We don't think we are a gothic band. We often get asked if we like Marilyn Manson. We don't care about Marilyn Manson. And I personally don't like what he does. Ah uh, yes, they are so not goth. But on stage and in videos, Deer and Grey strives to shock with gory images and lyrics. Since forming in 1997, they've racked up a run of hits with such titles as Embryo and Filth. Singer Kyo writes the lyrics, stretching for the most extreme imagery. I get kicks out of other people's negative reactions to my lyrics. They get disgusted. It's also about issues that are taboo. <laughs> Perky J-pop, it's not, but their fans love them all the more for it. We love Dino and Grey! A whole fashion trend has emerged, with Dino and Grey fans dressing up like their heroes and strutting around Harajuku, Tokyo's trendy youth area. This is meant to be the outfit of Toshia from Dino and Grey. I can't do this kind of thing when I'm older, and I find beauty in the style. Personally, I hate goth, and especially the Lolita style. Have you seen those? They wear ribbons in their hair. Hello, I am dressed up as a strawberry Lolita. That style's not for everyone. Some of them are unfortunately not born to dress up like that. You can mention that I am horrible and nasty in nature if you want. <laughs> Dew and Grey are big in Japan and enormous in Asia, but they've got a message for lovers of eardrum splitting, headache inducing, filth fetish death metal rockers everywhere. If you don't mind getting eggs thrown at you or covered in my blood, we'd love you to come and see us play. <laughs> Well, I'm sure most of you have.